In this video, I'll show you how to create a clickable image question. So first I'll type in a name for our question. Then I'll type in some text, which I already have copied and pasted into here. Uh, basically, we're going to show students uh, what we expect to be the result of a piece of code, which is right here, this static image right here. And below that we're going to tell them, okay, for some reason it's not working. And we want them to click on the actual code region, which has the incorrect line of code, which will be our clickable image. So below this, I'll enter a response area and choose clickable image. At the waiting, I'll leave the default of one. And then where it says image URL, I'll browse to the image I've already uploaded to my class. So here is the, the image. So we're going to add some regions that can be clicked on from the student's perspective. First, we'll add the what we define as the correct response, which is the incorrect line of code. This code right here, which is points dot sort and so forth. So I have this region here. I can also now move it, or I can even, um, you know, adjust it with the points. But I'm going to say that this is correct. So this region is correct. Now I'm going to add some incorrect regions. For example. I can maybe have the one below it, this document line, be incorrect. And you see here, I'm not going to set it as correct. Now I'll add some more for distractors. So I've added my distractors, and one thing to mention is, as you add your regions, you have to make sure that you have closed regions. You can't, for example, do this and say it's done. You actually have to, um, in our case, close it. Now, this I obviously don't want here, so I'll select it, which is denoted by the white dot, and click delete. So I have my distractors in the correct answer. Um, one thing to mention is with clickable image, you can also give partially correct answers, meaning if you want to have you know these three regions be correct, and they get only a few of them, they'll get partial credit for it. Now in my case, the correct answer is just this one in the middle, so I'll set just that one as correct. I finished the question, I will save it and show you a little preview. So notice that when I hover my mouse over these clickable regions, they highlight for me. When I click on one, it selects it as green. And it gets marked correct in this case. And that's how you create a clickable image question.